Hello, my beautiful sisters. I'm so sad that I can't be there with you tonight. So I am sending you my share. So I hope you've remembered to put our, your record on record because I really do not want to miss tonight and I'm quite sad that I am going to miss you girls. So here goes my share. When I first looked at the question for this, I was just, um, whoops, sorry. I was um, a little bit, oh, I don't have any rituals. I don't know what that is. And, um, and then I had to have a little bit of a think about it. And when I was younger, we used to have a ritual. We used to have lunch every Sunday with my family, my grandparents. And since I've had a family and I suppose I grew up and left home and did all that stuff, I haven't really done that. So that is something I'm actually going to um, do again and put back in to put back into my world. Um, and then I thought, okay, so Christmas, we have a ritual where we catch up with family. Um, and also Easter, a bit of a ritual since I was a kid, is going away camping. So I've tried to do that with my kids as well. Um, some of the other things, I suppose, part of my ritual in my day lately, which really centres and balances me, is that I put I wake up in the morning and I connect my two feet onto the floor before I step up into the world. My dog is going crazy in the background, my lord. Um, and she's distracting me a little bit. Zoe, sit down! <laughs> um, so in the mornings, I put balance on my feet and I breathe it in and I take four really big deep breaths and the reason in my mind that I do that is I massage my vagus nerve that runs down the back behind my stomach so doing that big deep um, diaphragm breath I massage that which is a great way to start the day and I also think about my intentions for the day and I set that um, you know, today is going to be a good day, um, I am amazing, and sometimes um, just in the last couple of days, which I really want to try and get more of a ritual into my life, is do some gratitude. So as you all know, I've been having a bit of a difficult time with my son Jared, so um, one of my counselling sessions said about um, write down seven gratitude things that I love about Jared, and it was really hard. So by actually doing that, when I've done that, it actually changes the way I think. And I really love that that's what it is. So, you know, I'm grateful for his smile. I'm grateful for him being in my life. So I'm looking at the positive instead of seeing the negative in him um, more of the time. And I suppose that's how I feel about my ritual in the mornings of breathing and putting on balance. And I'm much better when I also aromatically dress and um, use my essential oils um, as a moisturizer in my body because when I'm doing it I'm thinking about the oils that I'm going to use how I want to feel how my emotions are on that day so really setting myself up so I hadn't really thought about that until I'm like yeah actually I do have a ritual and then of course I need to get up and have a coffee so yeah a coffee is a big part of my day um, but that is probably in a little bit of misalignment because coffee's probably not great for alkalinity and my diet and blah, blah, blah. So that's, um, another thing. Um, I think giving my kids a kiss, good night, um, when they go to bed and saying good night and also saying good morning in the morning. Um, so connecting with them on an energetic level and, that's a great thing to do as well. Can you guys, I wonder if you guys can hear Zoe. My Lord. Um, she's going crazy because I'm ignoring her and sitting in the car, in the carport. But um, I think that's about all I can think of right now. I'm really looking forward to some of your things. I, when I think about rituals, I would love to do more full moon um, rituals and honoring Mother Earth. Um, oh, I know another ritual I do. When I um, go to yoga now, um, at the end of my yoga session, when or when I was in Bali, I noticed that some of the people do. And after being to a full moon ritual and you know, and honouring Mother Earth, at the end of my yoga practice, I actually um, lean forward and I put my hands and my forehead on the floor, and I thank Mother Earth for supporting me and holding me um, in my day and you know every day. And I know that she's there and thanking her for that. So. Yeah, actually, 
that's a nice one to have, isn't it? Anyway, see you girls. I love you all. Have a great um, chat and I'll look forward to connecting and seeing you next week. Bye.